insurers provide bids on an insurance policy to a large company, the bids must be between 2,000 and 2,200. The company decides to accept a lower bid if the two bids differ by 20 or more. Otherwise, the company will choose, uh, will, will consider the two bids further. Assume that the two bids are independent and both uniformly distributed from 2000 to 2200. Calculate the probability that the company will consider the two bids further. So the company considers the two bids further if they differ by less than 20, because for 20 or more, they choose the lower bid. But if they differ by um, less than 20, then it considers further. So if we call hex and y to be the two bid uh, amounts, then we want the probability of the absolute value of y minus x to be less than 20. And so you know that when you open the absolute value, you will have negative 20 on one side and 20 on the other. And then when you add the x, you get the x minus 20 and the x plus 20 is uh, what y is in between. Both distributions are uniform. Uh, so the difference between the endpoints is 200. So be prob the PDF will be one over 200 for both and uh, X and Y going between 2000 and 2200. And we know that for independent variables, the joint PDF is just a product. So uh, for a uniform distribution, one variable, the in, um, the interval length is basically what this number is, the one over B minus A. And for two variables, it ends up being the area of the rectangle. So that's our total probability um, or, or our total area, the area of the whole rectangle, X going from 2000 to 2200 and so Y. So the total area is 40,000. So we want uh, the portion that y is between these two, x minus 20 and x plus 20. So if we draw the two lines, this is a line y equals x plus 20, and this is a line y equals x minus 20, and we draw them uh, within the whole rectangle, which is our universe, x going from 2000 to 2200, and so is y, 2000 to 2200. So this should be 2200. Okay, so, um, and the, how do we get these points? So you can look at the equation. This is the equation y equals x plus 20. So uh, this is the point, at this uh, point, the x is 200. So uh, 2000, so when you put x is 2000, you get 2020 for y here. And similarly over here, um, the y is 2200, you can see y is 2200 at this point. So when you put y equals 2200 here, you get x is 2180 and so on, the other points. So it ends up being, uh, we want the portion where y is uh, less than the x plus 20 line and bigger than the x minus 20 line. So bigger than the X minus 20 is that region above it. And the less than the X plus 20 is the region below it. So we want this white area, but you can see from the figure that this white area is not uh, that easy to calculate uh, because it's a weird kind of a figure. So it's much easier if we calculate this blue area here and here, because these are just two triangles and actually they are exactly the same triangles of uh, same length and same height. And um, uh, same, I mean, same base and same height. And um, uh, so if we have the area of these two triangles and we subtract it from the area of the outer square, we get the wide area. So uh, for this triangle over here, you can see that the, um, this height is 2200 minus 2020, and that's uh, 180. And uh, this base is 2200 minus, uh, okay, let's see what this base is. So the X here, 
mm, is the x here is 2000. Okay, that's why I had the 2000 written because 2000 was for the x. So, um, so maybe we should write uh, the whole point. So, okay, let's change it back to 2000. Or we can even write the whole uh, point so that there's nothing to think about 2000 and y over here was 2200. And here, both the coordinates are 2200, so it's okay. <clears throat> so uh, the, the base length is the X is 2000 here and 2180 here, so that's also 180. Remember the height was also 180. So the area of this triangle will be half times 180 times 180. So that's 16200. And then the lower triangle is exactly the same. So that will, uh, the total area of both triangles would be two times 16200. And so the white area will be the area of the square minus the area of the two triangles. The area of the square is 40,000 minus the 32,400. So you get 7,600. So the required probability is the area of the white region, which is the area that we need divided by the total area. And the total area is 4,000. So 7,600 over 4,000, oh, I mean 40,000, 7,600 over 40,000 gives us 0.19, which is choice B. Thank you.